Hey guys, Jacob Wallace, ABC Window Cleaning Supply. Today, we are going to be talking about characteristics of sleeves and T-bars. So let's just jump right in. Now the first and most obvious thing to cover is that they come in different lengths. Now the shorter ones are going to be perfect for your cut-ups and they're also going to allow you to apply more pressure. The larger ones are going to allow you to cover a wider area, but also you're going to have less pressure on each particular part of the sleeve. Now as far as material goes, there's two main types of material we'll talk about. There's first what we would just refer to as normal sleeve material. So we're talking some sort of acrylic blend. And then there's what we would call microfiber. Microfiber is just engineered to be able to hold and absorb more water. Now some sleeves are going to include some sort of extra abrasion option. So for example, our new triple ground gray sleeve has a scrubby pad on one side. So as you're using it, you can do your normal scrubbing. If you reach a spot that just needs a little extra, you can turn sideways and scrub on just that one spot. You'll also see some sleeves have a scrubby pad along one entire side, such as the Unger rough face. So the one side is just your normal sleeve material. The other side's got the pad. In kind of a unique one, we've got the Ettore Porcupine, and it's got these little blue bristles in that you just kind of have to feel to understand, but it adds a little bit of extra oomph as you're scrubbing. Now there's going to be a couple main ways that your sleeves are going to close. You'll see some have an elastic loop on the inside, which is for going around the T-bar. And then most sleeves have a hook and loop closure that holds it shut. Alternately, instead of the hook and loop, some sleeves, such as this Polex, use a little snap to stick shut. One of the most important factors to window cleaners when selecting sleeves is how durable they're gonna be. The most common way that sleeves wear out is by the ends blowing out. So you'll end up with the end blown out and your T-bar sticking through it. To help avoid that, many brands, such as our Triple Crown sleeves, make them a little bit loose. So you actually would prefer to have a looser sleeve rather than a really tight one. Also, many sleeves have reinforced ends, again, such as our Triple Crown sleeves. Now when it comes to T-bars, there's really two things that you want to keep in mind. First, do you want a fixed T-bar like this one, where you can see that it's not going to move around, or a swivel T-bar like this one, so you can move it back and forth and get it to the angle that you need it. And the second thing is, what material do you want the T-bar to be? There are some T-bars that have aluminum tubing, and there's others which just have plastic. Usually it's slotted, so it's got these little gaps in it. Which one you choose is really just a matter of personal preference. One of the most important factors to window cleaners when they're choosing which sleeves they're going to have is how much water it holds. So we developed our own test for this, uh, which involves weighing the sleeve, getting it wet, and seeing how much water it's holding. So we've got our scale here, accurate down to one one thousandth of a pound. We go ahead and weigh the sleeve, this one comes in at 0.093 pounds. We then go ahead and get it wet, fully saturated. All right, and then we wring it out, mimicking the motion that you would do as you pulled your sleeve out of the bucket. We wait till it's no longer dripping. Go ahead and weigh it again. See the difference? In this case, we're now up to 0.720. And then we repeat this test several times and take the average. You can see the results of all of the sleeves that we have in stock on our website. Now, of course, you're also going to want to know how much does the sleeve drip? Because when you're doing indoor work, you really don't want your sleeve dripping all over the place. We designed a similar test for this one where we get the sleeve wet and then we're going to lightly rein it out, again, mimicking the motion of a window cleaner just taking their sleeve out of the bucket. And then we have a combined test here. One, we weigh the dripping that's coming off of the sleeve and also just do a visual look and see how much it seems to be dripping. So that was a little bit about sleeves and T-bars. Go to our website and see a detailed description of each sleeve and T-bar, including the results of our drip and water holding tests. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.